guys it's Friday it's another day in the life but this one I'm actually leaving my house <laughs> I have an appointment to get my bangs trimmed I have to get gas in my car I have to clean the house some because we have D&D &D here tonight um, we just paid a credit card off in full so exciting we just paid our couch card off like We've decided in 2020 that we're going to pay down credit debt. Not be like debt free, but like, I mean, we don't carry, I don't know, but so that was fun. And it was one of those like, Oh, you buy your furniture and you have a year to pay it off with no interest type things. And we had until July, but we're like, eh, we're just going to pay it off. And I, after a long teary conversation, decided I need to start therapy again. And so I will be starting therapy weekly next week. Did not expect to get in that soon. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I actually have a goal of something I want to work on this time, though, other than when I started last summer and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I went... But the whole getting to new, getting to know a new therapist thing is hard. So you basically have to rehash all your massive traumas. And then this person's like, oh, let's talk about these things. It's like, oh, can't we just organically let things come out in therapy? Like, I, I don't know. It, I enjoy. I liked the therapist as a person, but I didn't like the whole let's get everything out. I, I don't know. I've had her, who was not a bad person, just we didn't click therapy style wise. I had one therapist that we didn't click personality or therapy style wise. And then I had an amazing therapist, saw for three years. So it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Gotta, gotta try until the shoe fits, I guess. And then made us all dentist appointments with new dentists. Because we changed dental insurance and uh, I'm going first because I they were like, oh, your boys can go first. I'm like, no, that's cool. I think I'll go first because I don't want to send my kids into a practice that I have no idea what is going on. And that is about it. I have to finish adding some stuff to my planner. I have to finish reconciling our budget spreadsheet. And Google Docs is the best. Like you can share a spreadsheet. It goes everywhere. Like I love Google Docs. But yeah, I guess I've rambled enough. I'll check in in a little bit. So I picked up one of the beginning of month prescriptions at one of the two places I have to go. And then I'm going to go to lunch with Casey. I don't know where we're going. And we're going to go to lunch. And then I'm going to go to Sam's Club and get the other prescription and put gas in my car. And then I have an appointment to get my bangs trimmed at 3, but I'm going to go and see if he can get me in earlier. Or if somebody can. Or at 3.30 because I would like to get it done sooner. And 
but uh, yeah, that is what's going on. Doing stuff and things. So we just got done with lunch. Uh, I don't have to go to Sam's Club and pick up prescriptions because we're going to go in the morning. So, yay, early morning Sam's Club on a Saturday. I'm going to go and see if I can get worked in for my bang so I don't have to go later today. I have to go pay our internet bill in person because we switched our cell phone providers from AT&T to Sprint over the summer and it made it where we can't log in online to pay. And if you call, they want to charge you $5 for calling to pay on the phone. So, we go in person and pay in store and the worst part about it is I called one time and sat on hold for like an hour hour and a half no lie to try to get it where I could log on online again no dice didn't fix it so every month I'm just stuck going to the AT&T store to pay it it is quite annoying very annoying. <sighs> and I'm super excited about D&D &D tonight. We haven't played this particular campaign since the beginning of December. And right now we're in a dragon's tomb with some ancient dragon bones. So no clue what's going to happen. I mean, we're probably going to have to fight some kobolds and dragonborns. Maybe a blue dragon. Which I'm okay with, kind of. Toot Toot is immune to lightning because he got some special mumbo jumbo wumbo jumbo and he's now immune to lightning. And it's super awesome! And once he gets to 11 level. We're only level 8. And we've been playing this campaign for 3 years. I've been basically playing Toot Toot for 3 years. Minus maybe a 4 month period that I played Braytac. And we're only level 8. Like, Harrison is the stingiest DM ever in leveling up. So, my husband has been in his current campaign, his single campaign by himself. They've been playing maybe a year, ten months. They're level nine. Nine. I'm like, what the? Man. And in the year and a half, I played Anna. I went from level 5 to level 13, so that's 8 levels, like, come on, give us a little, just a little, a little some, some, some levels, man. I know you watch my videos, let us level up. We do a lot of murder hobo. Uh, we're not actually murder hobos. We do kill a lot of things, but they're typically bad guys. I and mean, we've killed a lot of kobolds recently. I'm super, super excited though, because we have Ons, which is Mark's character. She is not human, but I don't know what she is. We have Andrew's character, which is a shark, and he's a necromancer. I think On is a cleric or a fighter. And then we have Hunter's character, which is a dwarf, and he's just angry. And he's a paladin or a cleric. Or he just yells at me for killing him a lot. Well, Braytac accidentally killed him once in battle. Once. Never heard the end of it. 
And then we have Elsif, which is Allie Warlock. And then we have Miss Staley, which nobody really knows what she is. Is she a succubus? Is she a vampire? Like, I don't know. Miss Staley's an interesting character. And that is all of the Friday night characters. I mean, and we have two twos, but we all know he's a barbarian, magic initiate, who in the time frame that he was not being played, there was a 10 year time jump. So he regained his Eldritch Blast and his Chill Touch and his Hellish Rebuke. That's the magic initiate. But there's like a story component to it. And then for flavor in the 10 years he was able to teach himself two wizard cantrips but not like battle wizard cantrips. He taught himself prestidigitation and may chance so that he can like hold a map with a mage hand or like turn a page in a book because he basically studied magic for 10 years because he wanted to understand magic more. It makes sense story-wise like without going into the whole story, Tutu just does stupid things to get magic. Deal with Tiamat. Yes, he made a deal with Tiamat. I'm just saying, okay? <sighs> There's probably still going to be repercussions with that. Uh, but now he's learning about magic. He's pretty, pretty knowledgeable purple half-orc. And yes, he's purple. That's what he needs. And I need to discuss it with Michael at the table tonight. But I would think in the 10 years that he probably got a tattoo to symbolize Sabon. They are not together, first of all, because two two don't do that kind of relationship. But he has a deep love for Sabon. Like like somebody hurt Sabon, he going to hurt them. Because he has a tattoo of eagle wings across his back. I don't know. I feel like I've rambled enough about D and D. And you're probably tired of hearing me talk about two tooed and. But I'll see you at Ulta. Things are all done. So now I get to go pay the phone bill and uh, find my phone. Uh, I get to go pay the phone bill, pick up something for dinner. Uh, pick up something we need for dinner and then head back home so I've been home like an hour and a half and I've done absolutely nothing but as soon as the boys get off the bus I'm going to tell them to unload the dishwasher while I jump in the shower and then as soon as I'm out of the shower I'm going to do skincare and then load the dishwasher and then get myself ready and then clean the kitchen and set up the table and start a little laundry get everything done Yep. Yeah. So, so it's, it's time some debate over for D and D. Works with it. People are getting here. We're gonna play the like the D and D, and uh. But it's when you, you know, only roll dice. To hopefully, we'll get to level up tonight, points. like I ranted about earlier. You know, you've been playing the same character three percent. years, only level eight. Your You're husband's been playing his points. character yeah. a year. He's level right. nine. He's so obviously is, much more efficient with this. Would time. I roll? I don't think it's efficient, smish it. I think it's our DM's a stingy bastard. Maybe he just knows how to kiss up to the DM a little bit better. 
Now, like I told you, Harrison, I would think that you need to be looser with the level ups. With the I was wrong. They're both clerics of Tempest. Tempest. Tempest, no tea. We are not what? Tempest clerics. They're not in a teapot. Okay, what? Say it again. Tempest. Okay, we're clerics of Tempest, the god of war, not Tempest clerics, gods of storm. Okay, what's your character's name? I got... Alistair and Nakid. Oh, cool. Alistair. And I knew your character's Alistair. name. Alistair, with a D. I know, I know, I'm trying. 